Internet Sanitarium was built in 1932 as a private unit of the Western State Hospital that lied just over the hill. The building was named after and run by Dr. Joseph Desjarnet, who was a director of Western State Hospital at the time. Desjarnet was on board with the eugenics movement that was big in America at the time, especially the compulsory sterilization of people he considered mentally feeble. Desjarnet felt this was the only way to preserve the integrity of society and that by eliminating bloodline he felt was tainted, he could help create a better society for the future. He was also a pen pal with Nazi Chancellor Adolf Hitler, and he often complained that America was falling behind the Nazis when it came to sterilization. Even after the horrors of the Holocaust were revealed, Desjarnet still lobbied for sterilization, which was declining in popularity rapidly with the medical field and with the general population. In 1943, he was forcibly removed as the superintendent of Western State because of his leadership style and the poor shape the facility was in. He would also be forced out of Desjarnet's sanitarium in 1947 and would end up dying in 1957, 10 years later. There are very few records that exist about what took place at Desjarnet's sanitarium, and even after the removal of Dr. Joseph Desjarnet, records are still scarce. Eugenic sterilization continued in Virginia until 1979, and it's safe to assume it was practiced at the sanitarium up until then and maybe even a little after. In the 1960s, the name was changed to the Desjarnet Center for Human Development. It was converted to a children's mental hospital and school in 1975, at which time it ceased to be a private facility, and the state of Virginia took over operation of the facility. Stories of wrongful treatment and handling of patients continued to swirl around the building, and some people even go as far to say patients were murdered. I have talked to some former patients who have told me many sad stories, and they always mention how depressing the atmosphere was, and there were many suspicious deaths of people of all ages and conditions. They have also told me that they would hear footsteps walking down the halls late at night when there was no one there and there was even a shadow figure that would go from room to room peering in the windows at the patients inside. There were even people admitted to the hospital that had nothing wrong with them and this was especially bad during Dijonet's tenure as director. Over the year, the condition of the building would get worse and worse due to lack of funding, especially after the market crash of 1987. In 1996, the Desjarnet Center relocated to a new 48-bed facility adjacent to the grounds of Western State. This was the end of the sanitarium, and who knows what history and horrors were sealed inside when they boarded the building up. Since the building was abandoned and left to rot, stories of paranormal activity and satanic worship have run wild inside the building. Many people have claimed to encounter many negative and malevolent entities that have and I always try to do harm to the living. As for whether or not these stories are true, we may never know. So here's something interesting that just happened. I was doing some additional filming at the Western State where Dr. Joseph Desjarnet actually got his start. And I was going around, I've been there at least six or seven times. And they've got, you know, the well-known spiral staircase. I've taken numerous photos of the staircase. I've been all over the grounds, aside from the cemetery, which you actually can't get access to. I believe the state of Virginia owns it now since it was sold. Um, but anyway, I was going through again some footage. I was trying to get footage of some of the back buildings, some of the walkways, which is really cool looking. And then I was trying to get footage of the original Desjarnet Center, which was built in 1913. And was going to take some footage of that, was actually, actually before that, let me go one more actually back, I was going up the spiral staircase and I felt the feeling of being watched. And I was walking up and I stopped and I could hear someone walking on the stairs underneath me. And so naturally because I'm working on a paranormal project, I wondered, you know, maybe it's a spirit. So I looked down and it's one of the employees. And it turns out they had been following me for a little while and you know, I half saw him and then I kept going up because, you know, I've, I've been all over that place. I've never had an issue before. So I get to the top and something tells me to stop. And I was going to go outside, get some aerial uh, photos, aerial videos, stuff like that of all the buildings. Because it's a really beautiful view of the campus, of the other Western State buildings, including the Desjarnet Center. I'm about to go out. I had, the door was already unlocked. I was about to pull it and something told me to go back down. So, you know, I listened to my gut, I went back down, and the guy was, you know, he just looked at me, he was cool about it, but he was like, hey, are you a guest here? And I said, no. And he said, well, you're gonna have to leave, you can't be here. And I was confused, this is the first time I've ever heard this in my life, and so, you know, I didn't want to get in any, you know, argument, anything like that there, and so, you know, I just left. But as I was leaving, 
I was walking down the stairs and he started walking down the stairs, but he would stop like every three steps and just watch. And so as I'm walking down, I can see down the hallways of the hotel and because it's the Blackburn Inn now, and I could see these, it looks like shadow figures at the very end just kind of peeking around the corner. And I thought a few times I heard footsteps. So this is weird, my camera will not focus on Dijarnet. I have not had this issue yet. That's really weird, let me try zooming out. No, not really. So there's Dijarnet in the evening time. So what I'm going to do right now is a spirit box session here inside of my vehicle. This is as close as you can legally get to Dijarnet Sanitarium without getting in trouble. Now I've done many spirit box sessions here and every single time I've gotten really good results has been when I've come at this time of day, in the evening just before it turns dark. So hopefully the spirits of Dijarnet will be willing to talk tonight. Who knows, we might even be able to contact Dijarnet himself. So it's just about nightfall here, and I'm going to do a spirit box session to see if I can make contact with the spirits of Dijarnet. So let's see what happens. Hello, my name is Jake. Is there anyone here with me tonight? I'm here to talk to anyone that may be over at the Dijarnet Sanitarium. Is there anyone over there right now? I was here several months ago, almost half a year ago, trying to talk to people. Do you remember me? Okay, so this is a really weird fragmented session, but here's what happened. I was sitting here and I noticed movement out of the corner of my eye, so I looked in my mirror over here and I saw someone walking towards me, so obviously I looked back and no one was there. So I go back to my spirit box, and it's fine, but I start hearing like this chattering. All right, I'm back. Is there anyone here with me right now? You know, I've heard that there are children buried somewhere near here, and they're the ones that died over at Dijarnet's in the 70s. Is this true? Are there any bodies buried on the grounds of Dijarnet Sanitarium? 